Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And we're going to do something we haven't done in a while on the channel. Going to get back to the album reviews soon, but we're going to do a question of the week, aka question of the whenever I feel like asking a question. Now, if you're subscribed to the channel up there above my head, it may say that this is my 400th video. And it seems that some of you think that that is a milestone. This is not my 400th video. I've made way more than 400 videos. It's just that a lot of my old videos, which used to have copyrighted music in them because I used to do this and music would play, YouTube took those down. But anyway, in light of some albums that I have reviewed recently, I would like to ask you the question, growers. What is a grower? Some people call albums growers. Why? What exactly grows when you listen to the album? Does it grow when you listen to it the first time? The second time? If you listen to a song five times, and it sounds different on the fifth time than it did the first, what has changed is your perception of the song. To me, a grower, for example, would be Grizzly Bear's Yellow House, or maybe a Godspeed album. Something that, when you listen to it over and over and over, it's kind of like an onion. There are so many in the music, you pick up on more and more of them as you listen repeatedly. Another way I see people using the term growers is to describe an album that you may not necessarily like the first time around, and that, oh wait, 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 no, 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 you should revisit it. Listen to it a million times more, then you'll like it. And I agree, that has happened to me when I've listened to albums before. I mean, uh, most recently the new PJ Harvey LP, Let England Shake, I didn't hate that album the first time around. I just thought it was, eh, it's okay, it's all right. When I first decided to take on the new PJ Harvey, I didn't know who I was dealing with. After glossing through this discography and listening to this album over and over until I figured out what I did like and what I didn't like about it, I had come to the conclusion that there are more things I liked than I didn't like Therefore, I loved it. But the thing is, I've had the opposite effect occur with albums, too. I've really loved what I heard the first time around. The new Paper Cuts LP was kind of like that for me. But then again, the more I listened to it, the more I chewed on it, I kind of discovered that there wasn't a lot there that would keep me coming back and enjoying the music even more. Would those albums be considered shrinkers? The new Yuck LP was a little bit like that for me, too. So, is there such a thing as a grower? Does music grow? Or does your perception simply change based on the music that you're listening to? And if that's true, what about your perception changes? How does your perception shift when you listen to music? What albums, in your opinion, are growers? What exactly grew on you when you listened to it? Anthony Fantano, Growers, Forever.